Hi everybody. This is Maya. Um, I normally, well I've never done this before. I was outside pulling weeds and then I came in the house and I saw something about Layla Santanello and I figured I would throw down some cards because I don't really know her story. Well, the energy that I was getting is crazy, like crazy. So my husband works midnights. I chased his ass to bed, then came out here, like said my prayers and figured I'd hit record. Now, at first, I'll tell you how I read these cards, because now that I thought about it, I hope he didn't ruin my vibe, because now that I think about it, it could be read a completely different way. I'll show you. So I did the cards how, you know, which is right now my favorite way that I've, that I've been doing them, which is the five cards from the top, the five cards from the bottom. <clears throat> so five cards from the top. Started off with the four of wands, which is usually this is my home card, like home life, marriage, celebrations, baby showers, family get togethers, stuff like that. Underneath it, the underlying energy is the Page of Pentacles. Normally, you know, there's not some gnome here. Immediately, though, like just the feeling I got, the message that I got from, you know, I consider it the Holy Spirit, a spirit, whatever, is I think, you know, I don't know where she, who she gave her daughter to or who had her daughter at the time. She was, she was last seen, but I think this is her. This is how I read it the first time. This is her giving her child into the care of whoever had her child, okay? Or, and maybe still does. Um, I should take a step back real quick. What I know about Layla is that she's from the Kingsport, Tennessee area. Um, she was 20 years old when she went missing at the end of June. She is four foot ten, blonde hair, brown eyes. She's beautiful. Um, she has a two year old daughter. Um, I'm I have no idea like who has her daughter or where she left her daughter. I don't know. The last, the only thing I know is that the last time she was seen was walking, possibly barefoot, outside of a hotel. And I did, so I read one, well, I read a couple articles, but they really didn't give me much info. I watched one video, like, when I was trying to get my husband to go to sleep, and it showed the hotel, and it's more, for sure, it's more like a motel, which is why it made me kind of change the way I looked at this reading. But let me, I'll start, let me go back now. So anyways, this is what I initially, the vibe that I had that was very strong, was this is her, like I said, handing her child over to the person she trusted to care for them, her, to care for her daughter. Then, very soon after that, this tower moment occurred. This is a life-altering event. Now, notice I didn't get any death cards. Like, I guess that could be it, but you'll see. So, under the tower, this life-altering situation is this kind of like an even give and take, an exchange. I asked for a clarification on that and I got the Empress, which is my victim card. So I, oh, I asked what the currency was. So what's the currency of this give and take? It was herself. She was the currency. Center of the spread, the moon card, which is secrets, and then look at this. Normally, it's two dogs or wolves howling at the moon with, you know, on either side of this path going towards the moon. The moon represents the mother. It represents secrets. But normally, like, it's a path and there's not a person on it. And I feel really strongly that this figure is Layla. So here she is walking like she was last seen along this path in the middle of the night, secret, sort of. But look at the clarification. This is a con little confusing. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is my generation card, family. 
inheritance, traditions, things like that, property value, you know, stuff like that, family businesses. The image we usually get on this card is, it's definitely a, like a man and a woman, could be a couple kids by their castle. This one, look, it, the focus is all on this child and her daughter was two years old, dark hair, looks, you know, so the secrets, this family, I immediately focus on the child. That's where my mind went. Next card, seven of cups, seven of cups. This is my drug card. This is my bullshit card. This is my options, sometimes internet card. Clarified by the emperor, who is the boss man. He is a father figure which brought me back to this child, this child, you know, her child's mentioned twice now. And then, like I said, the emperor is, he's the main meaning, he's a father type figure, but it's also a man of authority, an older man, that he's the shot caller. That's what I call him, authority. He's the rule maker and enforcer. And then the last card in the spread is the Six of Swords reversed. Upright, it's moving, travel from chaotic situation to a calmer one. So there's like stagnancy here. Underneath, another stagnant card. Upright, the Ace of Wands is like the beginning of a new action. Wands is, to me, it's action. It's, it's a something that you do, an achievement, something physically done, an action. Upright, it's like this project, this action, this plan never even gets started. So in my mind, this, this idea, the idea of travel never happened. Oh, and when I um, asked about this emperor energy by the seven of cups, you know, that confusion drug stuff, I got this card. This is the this is why I was like, oh, I gotta tape it. The Eight of Cups. This is I'm walking away. I'm leaving. Normally, this woman's not in the picture, so imagine she's not in the picture. So this is I'm leaving it all behind. I'm I'm walking away from everything I love, which is the cups, everything you care about, your emotions, and it's this person you just see their back walking away. And they're wearing a red cloak, which is the same red cloak that she's wearing. Then again, the emperor is wearing one, and so is this exchange person, the person that's doing the exchange. We'll have to remember that. So anyway, this ace of wands, and, or the eight of wands, or my, I'm so sorry, the eight of cups energy with this card. This is immediately where I went to. I went to this emperor is the father figure. The baby, so her baby daddy, the, her daughter's dad. And because I kept getting this third party energy, like, you know, that there is some kind of third three party situation with the man. So let's clarify it. Let's see. Because in this card, it's like the man's walking away from the woman who's sitting there looking at everything she loves, just looking disheveled and heartbroken. Okay, let's now you're caught up to where I am. I'm I'm so sorry, but I have to put this on tape because if the energy is anything like it was before, I for sure want this on tape. And hopefully we can get some answers about Layla. Okay. Let's see here. Is this four of wands, this card right here? And giving something, this offering of a tangible thing. A pentacle is a tangible thing. So it's like a little bit of money to get started. Something small. Sometimes it's my evidence card. It's also a child. Devil energy in reverse. That's letting go of, letting go of your, things that tie you. Like it would be like trying to let go, trying to let go of your demons trying to let go of your codependencies that bind you. Okay. What's up with this tower? 
this tower in exchange. Thank you. King of Cups energy, an older emotional man. An older man that makes decisions with his heart rather than his head. So what's going on with this tower moment and, and this exchange? Because it could be an exchange. When I saw that motel, I thought drugs. This could be an exchange for drugs now that I see the hotel. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is like, normally it's a court gesture, um, juggling, entertaining the court. But either way, they're, you're, they're both balancing two pentacles in this never-ending infinity. And you get tired after a while and you have to put one down. You have to put something in your life down. And this card, as you can tell, is not like a, a clown or a court jester. Like, instead of, it's an, you know, it could be, like I said, an entertaining card, a planning agreement. It's a two. But look at the picture. That's what I mean. Like, drugs is what I'm getting here. So, I got to put something down. I got to make a decision. So, I mean, at this point, I almost feel like her death decision would be, let's see, the hermit. Going off on your by yourself to think about it, to think. And that's what she did, right? She went on that walk. That's the tower moment. That's the last time she was seen. Give us more on this King of Cups, please. Okay. Kind of don't want to take these, but let's see what they are. The world reversed. Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, the work card, doing something over and over again, repetitiveness, but you know, it's tech, it's learning a trade, mastering a craft. It's the work card. It's also got the infinity, the eight. So like doing something over and over again for a long time, the world card, which is like a, it's not closing the cycle. Something still isn't closing the cycle. Something's missing. The world card to me also, that this is my like messages, internet, three of wands. So it's this plan to do with working. This is a ring. That's what this is. A ring. That's what this is. So I had this. I don't think this has anything to do with the father now. Now I'm thinking what I did after, which is, you know, she gave her daughter to somebody she trusted to basically go sow her wild oats. This was a plan by this king of cups who I'm think we'll see, we'll see if it's the same guy, this emperor or this king of cups made the transaction to this emperor of her. The emperor is like, basically, he's the boss man, right? He, yes, they're going to get caught. Seven of swords, mask off. This is a liar, cheater, thiefer, upside down. It's getting caught with your pants on the ground. What else just popped up? Nine of pentacles. A beautiful, single energy. Someone that's looked at is, you know, having it all. So if we're going on the grounds right now of possibly taken for a ring traded for that type of situation then she would be looked at like a prized thing right a valuable object which sucks to say let's get more on this oh and then check this out okay so center of the read center of the reading here's this red cloaked Layla taking that walk and it's clarified by the underlying energy, but this could be her daughter. So she's taking a walk to gather herself, to get her shit together. She's feeling unbalanced, out of control a little bit. I think she's high. King of Wands. This is, this is a confusing card. So we're, I said secrets. The King of Wands is like my big D energy card. This is a charismatic, masculine energy. 
it's a sexual phal you know a phallic symbol like the wand the king of wands charismatic masculine energy but it could also be sexual and it's interesting that it's a woman in this card usually it's not i think that's the only one in this deck the secrets the five of swords this is being overpowered she was overpowered by a man so it could be two men that were in on this. We'll see what's up with this emperor. Woo. The lovers. I kept getting a third party situation. And the sun. So like attention being brought onto this romantic, sexual, overpowering decision. All right, let's see what's up with this emperor what's going on with this emperor and Layla? two of cups this is a relationship this is an agreement a, a binding agreement this could be like twin flame so maybe it is a father you know the the hurt the father a man she was with or the father of her baby Give me more on this two of cups, this relationship that has to do with, I'd say drugs, drugs or the internet, drugs, internet. So it's this relationship with a, someone of authority, a relationship and agreement of somebody with authority having to do with options, internet, drugs, the fool. This is a fresh start, not almost... It's it's not watching where you're going, being but being carefree about it. Like that's what I'm, and I get the vibe that there's drugs involved. Okay, so this new and that's the zero card. That's starting over, starting over. Who is this? This just okay. Who is this emperor? Who's this emperor, please? Eight of Swords, it came out reverse, so it's like, let go of your restrictions. Let go of your, the, what, of your restrictions and what ties you back. Don't have any worries. He's trying to trick her. That's what he's trying to do. I love you, we're together, don't have any worries. Don't worry about the stuff that you you know that that's holding you back. There's this potential for this love, she thinks, but he's being sneaky about it. So she thinks, okay, the emperor energy, this man, older man who makes the rules is she thinks that there's some relationship there. She thinks that there's love there. But remember the card what we got is him walking away from her. Okay, so we know like what happened between them. How did Layla know this guy? How does Layla know this guy? What's their connection? The Empress. That's the victim card, remember? The same one that came up right here. This is the same card. It also is the mother. This is her. So, okay. That's validation that we got spirit here. We asked... How do they know each other? Okay, the emperor and the empress. So it was the man she was with sexually. Okay. Now it makes sense more than what I was thinking. I was kind of thinking it was, but yeah, it was like a third party situation. Someone she met through other guys. That, look at what came up. The emperor in reverse. So he became, he went from being a man of like, you know, he still is in reverse. He's, that's crazy that these cards are coming out now. Okay, so when it pops out in reverse, this means that he tr he changed his ways. So it still means that he's a powerful man of authority, usually an older man, powerful, more powerful, you know, powerful to her, man of authority who's lost his way, like overly strict, dictator-like. Who is he to her? 
Six of Pentacles in exchange. How? Like, how does he know her? Oh, I know. How would her family know who he is? How would her family know who this man is? The tower. He's the he's the man that did it. How would her family know him? How would her friends know him? Who is he to her, to Layla? This one spun. Divine timing. This is putting in the work and harvesting what you got. Like, was it worth it? Was all the work worth the payoff? Okay, how does he know her? How does this emperor know Layla? Justice. Law enforcement then could be, I hate saying that because it's so generic. It could also mean that like court, they maybe her family would know because they met in court. Has she been in court for anything recently? Maybe they met online. Or it's the person that she hangs out and parties with, the person she gets her stuff from. The five of wands in reverse. So, and this one, and it was spun. So, yeah, they, it's, it's a chaotic bond. It's a chaotic relationship with. It's somebody that she fights with. Okay. Let's see what's up with this seven of cups. The seven of cups, this is what I was saying. That's either a lot of choices, bullshit, gaslighting, drugs, internet. Thank you. Came out sideways. Okay, messages. This is no matter which way you look, to me that would be messages. So I would say like somebody, this guy could be found in... A message she sent either through her phone something at the house wherever she left her daughter this message can be found so it was either like they made plans he said he was gonna be somewhere this whole thing was set up it can be found messages about it can be found in her house so it's some type of like electronic message to lead her family to who this Emperor is because spirit doesn't want to tell us right now exactly for us to know, but there's some messages. Do they, who's got her phone? Did they find her phone? Or is her phone missing too? But like I said, there's messages at her home. I don't even know if she lived with her parents, if she lived at the hotel, if she lived with her daughter. What's up with this seven, this threat, this delay of plans, not leaving chaos, staying in chaos, this Thing, never starting, never getting off the ground. What's up? Why are these cards here? Thank you. A Knight of Pentacles. Why is this card pop up in reverse? Thank you. I don't get it. This is rough. Okay, a Knight of Pentacles. Someone, a younger energy. This is Old Faithful. Somebody slow, more slow paced, reliable, has like, you know, maybe drives a fancy car or motorcycle, a wish fulfillment, greed it could also be, wish fulfillment, this, a night, so then it's surrounded by, this wish is surrounded by two nights, both headed in the same direction. So there's no, instead of travel from a chaotic situation to a calmer one, this could be staying in a chaotic situation, but it still looks like there's some type of travel. So, um, nights are going to bring in, this guy's going to, he's coming, he's reliable. It just might take him a while and he's bringing an offer of a pentacle which is a person, money. It's a tangible thing worth something. So, you know, and like I said, it's all between this wish fulfillment and then in, sandwiched in the middle is this offering of a 
person, you know, a thing, like we said, that could be worth money. Next to another knight, which is another offering of a cup. This is my player card. This is an offering of emotion, love, feeling. You know, the Prince Charming type stuff, it could be said too. But I see it as travel. These people are both two younger energies traveling for money and emotional reasons. And they're being overlooked. They're not being seen. They're traveling behind the scenes. That's exactly what I'm getting picked up. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. That's the first time we've had any kind of death card for her. Let's ask. Actually, we'll get a whole new deck because then we know we'll get all the cards. Here, this one. Old, the OG Old Faithful we haven't used. All right, Layla Santanello. Let's ask. Show us her energy now. Where is Leila Santanella now? On the 3D Earth world. Show us Leila's energy on the 3D world. Leila's energy right now in the 3D world. Thank you. A couple more. Leila's energy right now, please. Okay, that's good. We got the sun. This is good. This is like happiness, uh, attention being put on oneself, revealing it all, secrets coming out. What came out before that is, oh, I didn't even look. Okay, so we got on the bottom of the deck is the first time we saw a death card. And the first time I looked at the bottom of the, the deck, well, actually, yeah, the first, that's the first time I looked at the bottom of that one. So this is the Page of Swords in reverse. This is something said. Either it, this is bad talk, bad gossip, um, like doing the talk and the talk, not walking the walk. But usually this is like my spot. If it's not gossip, this is my spying card. So someone being watched. It also could be a child, you know, but it's somebody being watched. The death in reverse. Look at next to, we said, where is she now? So we did get another death card next to this page of swords. So somebody watching over somebody, there's witnesses to what happened. That's what this means. That there are some, at least, I'd say at least two people know exactly what happened and it's going to come to light. That's the good news. And it has to do or me, it's because with this bond, we got this card over here too. The relationship one. Remember with the, when we asked about the emperor, that one came out. Like the twin flame, the two of cups, this agreement card. Well, now it's in reverse. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. People are going to talk. This, this agreement that people had that between people to stay quiet, to stay loyal to each other, isn't going to work. And the truth is going to come out about what happened to Layla. She may be, I mean, with the sun card, let's ask again. So we know the truth is going to come out. It sucks because the death card's there. That's the only thing making me second guess this. But we definitely know the truth is coming out. Someone's talking. Someone, there's witnesses for sure that will come out and say what happened. Look what came out again when I, okay, so I'm still trying to find out if she's alive or not and this is what came out for the third time third third deck third time the empress which is her the victim card this is my layla card allegedly this is a tarot reading and it came out in reverse so i think that that's a clear no she's no longer with us at the bottom of the deck this is making something happen manifesting something having everything you need to make something happen. Next, the card at the top is judgment. So yeah, I'm gonna go with, unfortunately, for, you know, according to the tarot reading and the energies that I'm getting, no, she's no longer with us. I think 
there was some exchange here with a man that she thought she had some loving relationship with that um, she looks like, according to these cards and my intuition, that uh, she was partying and partaking in substances and maybe, you know, this guy that she was with, it was, it was a third party situation. So he wasn't just with her. She wasn't just with him. This was like a third party. There was a third party involved for sure. Like, I get that feeling 100%. So anyway, she's with this guy who, you know, has got some pull in this motel type world. And she, that's the, her lover. That's who she thinks that she's got this relationship with. But he doesn't think about her the same way. And he set her up. Let's ask this. Yeah. He set her up and it was this chaotic, like she thought, you know, it was almost like, this is what I'm getting. She was high as, as the sky and he's keeping her that way. And telling her like, don't, if she brings up like her baby or something, don't worry about it, honey. You know, like have some more of this, like that type thing. That's how it happened. That's how he got her to do what he wanted to do. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking, like, there's a chance that she could still be alive. But, oh, then let's ask this. Since we're getting all these cards that that's not the case, what was Layla's manner of death? There she is. There's Layla. That's the other, since, did we, yeah, we already got the Empress card, so we can't get it again. This is the mother card. Uh, you know, uh, just a really sweet woman. Thinks with her heart. Um, the mother, though, that's um, another mother card. Queen of Cups. So we're asking, what is her energy now? Or no, I'm sorry. What is what was her cause? The manner, the cause of her death. She was trying to find a way to do better for herself. She's out in the cold. She was left out with nowhere else to go. Kicked out, stranded. She was beaten up. It looks like and left behind show us what's what caused Layla's passing show us if that's what happened what's the manner this one is the one that wanted out the king of wands that's that same guy that big d energy so it was that it was allegedly it was a man look at again liar cheater thiefer and again the ring card so this is the stealing, manipulating, lying, swords are words. He's a liar. Look what popped out again. The emperor. Four of coins. That's, he is, he's been trying hard, hard, hard not to talk, but it's a burden. He's keeping this stuff to himself. Spirit doesn't want to let us know. What happened what was the cause of Layla's passing? Thank you. This is the card, the uh, six of wands. Upright, it's having, you know, doing the right thing and getting accolades for it. It's winning. It's winning, basically. That's my card of winning. So it's in the reverse, like she lost the fight. And next to it is the nine of wands, which is, I think... I think she was beaten by this man, by a man, that man that we were speaking of, unfortunately, and left behind. And that's why we got, in the very beginning, we got that card, which is what made me do this reading, that Eight of Cups, with the picture of him leaving her behind. So if it, the cards, you know, I would be looking by, like, the side of a river. There was mountains in this picture. Look, if you're looking... For Layla, I'd be looking, here's the mountains, it looks like she's at the edge of something, like edge of, a, I don't know, I'm sure they could tell where she was with her phone and stuff, the edge of a ravine, the edge of a cliff, the edge of a river, or a, like a body of water, something like that, like, you know, they were... I think it's got to be close to that hotel. It just looks like, you know, they were doing it and things got rough and there was drugs involved and possibly handing her over. But it looks like that's where he left her. 
Is Layla still with us? Chaos, imprisonment. Guys, I don't know. This is a, a super, super tough one because we're getting mixed signals here. Like she could be trapped in a horrible situation. Chaotic with drugs. This is about the past. It could be about her child, but it's about something, someone she's known for a long time. There's that sexual, charismatic energy, carelessness. I don't know which way that was, but that's the work card again. So repetitive nature. Here it is, the story. There was a tower moment that you can't come back from. A life-changing event. There was an exchange. We've gotten this three times now. An exchange. This person was this, this hangman in reverse is more like a scapegoat being stuck telling you i think that it, and here's the king of cups again so there's this third party third party partying everybody kind of lost their tempers lost their cool lost their head made a bad decision to overlook practically everything in a drug fueled haze i believe and made an exchange that had to do with her and unfortunately, when we ask about this, I'm not going to ask for the hundredth time. And then look at the other one, the only other one that was up. This is my other woman card, a scorned woman. So I, like I said, I always got the feeling there was another woman. So I think that there's at least three men that know what happened. Like, I, you know, I am sticking to where I think she could be found and that it was a case of being beaten, unfortunately.